Things and Puzzles Right, and uh, this is for the first annual Doing Life Right conference. So we just wanted to show you a couple of our, of our products here. We like to do, uh, these are all puzzles that we do for uh, single players, ages from three and up, varying uh, puzzles. This is a new line for us, but I really, really like it. Uh, it was something that we thought, this is so nice, and we had so much fun doing it, that we just wanted to share that with everybody else. And today we brought, or this weekend we brought uh, a variety of games. We have a lot of board games for anywhere from two to seven or eight players. Uh, you can expand some of the stuff. Uh, some of the games have uh, multiple expansions or add-ons that you can play. It keeps it fresh and new all the time. Uh, they're a lot of fun to play. They're not usually really cheap though, which is always a drawback. <laughs> I think games are important for a lot of things, reasons. One, they're fun, and you got to have fun in your life. And two, uh, they teach a lot of different skills. Uh, social interaction is one of them. Uh, problem solving. Um, sometimes you get some math skills. Sometimes you get some language skills. And, uh, some games involve bartering, so you learn to barter with people and, and trade off and negotiate. Um, some games are about conquering the universe, and so you kind of get to, to take up aggressions in a nice, peaceful manner. To get into games, I would say go to a local game store uh, or comic book game store and ask questions, have people show you the games, don't buy games off the shelf without seeing them, without getting to touch them, ask what, what you know, have people find out what you want to get out of a game, uh, how many people are going to be playing regularly, find out what, have people find out what's going on, and then make a decision based on that. Don't just buy something off the shelf because it looks good, you want, to, you want to touch it. So go someplace local, a small game store always has people to show you a game. Don't buy them at Target or Walmart or, you know, Borders. No, they're not here anymore. Barnes and Nobles. Because people there just don't, they don't show you how to play the games. And that's really important. I think that's a very important service that we provide in our store. And when we do these shows here, we really, I call it speed dating games. <laughs> but make sure you get a, you know, a good grasp of the game before you walk out the door. Primarily a comic book store. And about seven or eight years ago, we said we needed to diversify our product line. So we went to a gaming and manufacturing association trade show. And we went around and we talked to all the manufacturers, tried to find out what the games were like. And we found out so much stuff. Because we, we thought games were Monopoly and Risk. And we were like, ah. We found these great games. We just fell in love with them. And we started bringing them into the store. And then we started uh, getting them to, to purposely for homeschool shows. Because my sister-in-law homeschooled uh, my niece and nephew. And she was the one that got me coming to the shows. And when we go in with that mindset to the trade shows and we're able to find the games that are, that are obviously useful for homeschoolers or unschoolers and just for fun period. And as we start to find more and more games to play, we just, we just like them so much that we just wanted to share that with everybody else. In closing, you know, check out your local comic book or game store. Uh, our store is the comic shop. We're at 699 Welling Boulevard in San Leandro, California. And our webpage is www.comic-shop.com. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the conference.